Good morning, Trailblazers. Today is Wednesday, March 8th, and it's an A day. We have three shout outs, starting with kindergartner Madeline. So, Madeline, come on over. Stand right there. Perfect. Who are you shouting out to? To Sunny. Sunny. And what do you want to tell Sunny? Uh, is she a good neighbor? There you go. Thanks for being a good neighbor. All right, go over there by Mr. Fagan. Our next shout out is Noah. So come on over, Noah. Who are you shouting out to? Mr. Fagan. What do you want to tell him? I like singing music. Nice. You don't do that in my room, do you? No. Nope. <laughs> there you go. Well, something for everybody. That's what's good about school. Come on, Thomas. Who are you shouting out to? Mr. Lovell. What do you want? That's me. What do you want to tell me? He's the best PE teacher. Woohoo! Very good. Thank you all three. And make sure you walk back to class. My spies will be watching, lurking behind something. Now that sounds a little funny. No, it's not funny. <laughs> lurking. Lurking. Let's stand for the pledge. They got it. You got it, Noah? Yeah. All right. Keep going. I hope they make it. We'll find out if they don't. We will. Here we go. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> You belong. I belong. You matter. I matter. You are loved. I am loved. Always. Today. It's today's a holiday. Today is Learn What Your Name Means Day. Hmm. This day encourages you to find out what your name means. Our names are a big part of who we are, but we don't get to decide what it is. So ask your family where your name came from. Hmm. Do you know where your name came from? Germany. Germany. My great grandfather came over from Germany on a boat when he was twelve years old. That's awesome! Wow. He had three. He had two other brothers. Yeah, they were. He was the youngest, Very so cool. he wasn't alone. Very cool. That's only one side that I. What about you? Um, my dad named me, and um, he kind of just liked it. Didn't really come from anywhere. But I did Google to see what my name meant, and, and it means pure. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a derivative of Katie Lynn or something. I don't know. Hmm. But I looked it up, so find out what your names mean, everybody. There you go. Are you living up to that name? You I sure am. are, aren't you? I am. You are. Yes. All right. We have two birthdays today. Happy birthday to first grader Hallie and fourth grader Lincoln. After the announcements, come get your birthday card in the library. And now it's time for our birthday song. He's got his banjo. <laughs> Welcome back to Hee Haw, girls and boys. Hee Haw. Ready, set, here we go. Happy, happy birthday, we hope it really rocks. Happy, happy birthday from all of Tomahawk. Hey! Mr. Fagan, why does that neck strap only go on that part? Because there isn't an attachment here. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, it's different. Because Do all banjos have that feature? Um, it depends. So my, my actual banjo, I can connect it here and here. Okay. So it depends on the That would seem like it would protect it more to have two. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. It oh. does. Thank you. <laughs> we have a watchdog today. Mr. Gessling is here with Hallie. So if you see him around, give him a friendly tomahawk. Hello. Welcome. All right. It is Penny Wars. And we have an update. There are no totals, and you will not find out the totals until after spring break. I've heard that three years ago. But... Fifth grade! Oh, oh my yeah, fourth goodness grade. gracious! Fourth grade! Whoa. I was going to look that with one hand, just nonchalant. I needed the help from you, but... First grade. Okay, so boys and girls, the Penny Wars money goes to PTO, and PTO pays for things like ours. Sweetheart dance we just had and field trip. Yeah, the field trip that third, fourth, and fifth grade went on. Paid for the bus. Given, donated anything to the PE room that all the kids use? 
Yes, I don't remember what I ordered. But yes, we all get a little bit of money yeah. which we use to help us in our in whatever we are teaching. So this, Classroom teachers yeah. get it as well. Yep, yeah. so this is a fun competition that really benefits all of us. Wow, we might need to turn these around actually. Yeah. For you to see. If you were, remember, silver takes away. So if you were, I'm not going to say that. No, I'm gonna stop do. Yeah, so you can put silver. If you don't want fourth grade to win, because they've got a whole oh, bunch yeah. of pennies in there, mm -hmm. you would put some silver in there. Yeah. Now, if you have some money at home, pennies, mom and dad have to approve this, but you would put your pennies in there, so maybe you could catch up to fourth grade. So I'm pretty sure pennies and bills are good. Yes. Silver coins, not good. Right. Okay? I paid somebody to pick up spiky balls in my backyard and front yard Oops. last night. Were they a fourth grader? They were a second grader. Fourth grader's coming tonight. Ooh. I pay him a penny a spiky ball. How much did that second grader get yesterday? 330 spiky balls. $3.30? Yes. Did you pay him in pennies? Yes, I did. And we had to wash the pennies in a vinegar solution because they were quite old. They that were just in the garage in a bag. This is a yeah. lot of information right now. Yeah. That, yeah, okay. There you Good go. job, friend. We have an experiment going. Let me finish. We have an experiment going that we're soaked one bowl in ketchup. Because ketchup will clean does. copper. Yes, I Oh, heard. don't look at it like that. It's true. It's true. And we'll find that answer tomorrow, tonight. So Are you trying fun. to figure out if ketchup or vinegar is better? Or are you just seeing? If it he didn't believe me, so. Okay. Or there is vinegar in ketchup. There There's is. vinegar there in is. ketchup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The acidity yeah. of the ketchup. And they're still sitting in the ketchup right now. It probably smells delicious. No, it doesn't, it doesn't stink at all. Good. Just ask my wife. She's I'm good. shocked that you gave up ketchup. I know. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I got a lot of ketchup in my house. That's true. All right. Let's keep going. All right. Boys and girls, remember, if you can dream it, you can do it.